Let's talk new year, new me, but on steroids. In nine months, I turn 40 and I am determined to make 40 the best year ever. So we're starting a series and it is gonna be my journey to 40, creating a life I love. First step is picking a word to describe the path we are taking. At first, the word that I wanted was going to be carefree because that's what I want people to feel when they're around me and that's how I wanna feel. But when I started looking up carefree aesthetics, it led in directions that didn't really fit the vibe I was feeling. So then I thought, if it's not carefree, what image am I conjuring up in my head? And it was back when we were in Disney World walking along the Boardwalk Resort and I thought, this is it. The Boardwalk Resort represents to me who I am inside, who I want to be. So then I thought, boardwalk aesthetic. But the boardwalk is still not it. The boardwalk aesthetic has a lot of short shorts, crop tops, and I don't feel super comfortable in any of that. And it, that's not, that's still not the vibe. So what else is it? Carefree in the sense that you're not worried about how you're gonna pay your nips go if you've got gas in the car. And then I'm thinking who are people that fit that characteristic. Well, they're people that are more financially stable than I am. What does a wealthy woman look like, dress like, act like? And we're gonna see if that fits the vibe a little bit better. So what's really interesting about this is when you search boardwalk or carefree aesthetics, it shows a lot of outfits and people out in nature or out on a boardwalk. When you search wealthy woman aesthetic, you don't get as many outfits instead. So yes, it does start with these outfits. 40 habits, 20 ways to tell, 40 secrets, subtle differences. This is not just something you put on. Now I'm not saying I don't ever want to be rich or wealthy, but it's not really been a goal. I'm, I'm not one of the people who has set out to make a million dollars. But looking at this and realizing that my inner self is like, I wanna look like this, I want to be seen this way, makes me think that it's really the habits that are calling out to me and not so much just the numbers in the bank. Although it will be really nice to make some more money. This looks right up my alley because it is like the aesthetic that I like um, and I can't magically make money appear in my account as much as I would like to. Surprisingly, the comments on this article are really negative. Uh, and I don't think that there's anything wrong with wanting to look a certain way. I mean, we all have a certain style and some of us are old and just finding it now. So I don't think there's anything wrong with that as long as you don't lose who you are. So this is about so much more to me than just updating my wardrobe but it really is something that I wanna work on for my whole life. So anytime you get serious, you have to write it down because most people don't write down their dreams or their goals. And that's like the number one way to like fail. <laughs> um, so my overall goals are going to be in a range of career, health, finance, home life, like homeschooling, my habits, um, and I would like to come on here every week and do a different video and showing the week and what we're doing to make all of these goals come true in the next nine months, which sounds intense. And then really honing in on the word. Well, the Bible too, but like my word. I think while Mr. Squirrel watches, we're gonna go ahead and Go to dictionary.com and I'm going to type in words and then look for their synonyms and see if we can figure out the word. Okay, let's start with the beginning. We started with carefree. So the actual definition of carefree is without anxiety or worry, which is what I wanted. Okay, so here are some other words, lighthearted, joyous, elated, cheerful, gleeful, blithe. Uh, let's go to thesaurus.com. 
easygoing. Unbothered. Ooh, I like unbothered. What else do we have if we dig into unbothered? A lot of the same words. I mean, that shouldn't be surprising. So, here we go with unbothered. Not experiencing mental or physical discomfort. Indifferent to criticism or negative comments, not annoyed or provoked. She was unbothered by her many haters. They swear they're unbothered, but they care. I kind of love unbothered because I have spent a lot of my life being very bothered and very reactionary. So I think being unbothered, that's nice. Like there's a freedom in that. Okay, this is interesting. I love this outfit and I had seen it when I looked up Carefree and it was on there again. So I think that's a good sign because I've liked some of the carefree outfits. And I know I keep going back and forth, like it's not about the outfit, but then, oh my gosh, there's this outfit. It kind of is about the outfit because the way that you present yourself to the world is a reflection of the way you see yourself. If you are consistently unkempt and in dirty, torn up clothes, that's that's the respect level you're giving yourself. So why wouldn't people think that? To a degree, to a degree. Don't, don't like cancel me. Um, I do think that there's a gray area in almost everything. Um, but yeah, I kind of like what I'm seeing here. Okay, so I'm really liking the idea of the word unbothered, but I do want to run it through one more filter. And that is, I want to check the Bible and see how often it's said in the Bible um, because that matters to me too. And if scripture is like, don't be unbothered, then like, I don't want to be unbothered. So <laughs> let's look. Let's search. Where is the word unbothered in the Bible? Those who respect the Lord will live and be satisfied unbothered by trouble. <gasps> it says it. It says it. Okay, so now there's even a website. Oop, I just typed something. How to live unbothered. Living unbothered means you find your peace in Christ. You know what he sacrificed for you. Do you know who else is unbothered? Serena. Serena. She's on my arm. This is making it difficult to do things. You don't care though, do you? You're on my notebook too. I can't even take notes. Unbothered. <laughs> 